What is up everyone? This is Sword King 090 and this is going to be Operation Bedrock number 145, the 145th episode of the Operation Bedrock series. And it is a series where my friends and I were going to, whoa, I was going to say in case. I always mix this up no matter how many times I have done this. Well, we're going to actually mine the entire world until there's nothing but Bedrock left except for the floor of course we need, because we need something flat to walk on. And right now I have Hero SMO joining me for the first time in like a long time. So... Say hello, SMO. Hero to save you. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. And what has happened during this time? Of course, you see that there's a lot of trees. It is because I've been trying to actually collect more of the apples so that I'll be able to make them into notch apples and then I'll be able to kill the wither. And here's the deal that, of course, with the wither, you will get some nether stars and then you can make some beacons. But wait, we're going to need a lot of blocks. Iron blocks to be exact because diamonds, well, we need that for the tools and the armor. Gold, we need that for more of the notch apples. So we're going to need some more iron blocks. But there's so many you could actually get before we run now. But not to fret, guys. Not to fret. With the actual inspiration and the suggestion of Tyler Adamsick, if that's how you pronounce your name, or Adamsyke, I'm not really too sure. But with his suggestion, I was able to look up the actual farm the iron golem farm to be exact and I have created it with the video that I'll be linking in the description below because that was the only video that was pretty short even though it was kind of long at some points because of the editing fails but honestly with that video it has helped me a lot and I was able to actually create my own iron golem farm so I was very happy about that let's see if we'll be able to make the jump I don't want to fail and there we go and yes we're in the natural texture pack because every week is going to be a brand new texture pack for for us to use so it's kind of looking nice in this one a little bit of a jagged pattern but that's what the natural look is and we got ourselves the iron golem farm so that there are the villagers here we have three right in this box we're gonna move on over to this little box right here i believe it's another three let's see okay yes that's another three and here's a good part well i can show that later i can really show that later because we got more than one priest but, well, spoilers, why not? Well, some of the priests have bottles of enchanting for the first trade. And it's going to be nice. I'll be able to get the achievements out of the way as well. And this one has another four. So that is three, six, and ten. And then last but not least, we have the last box, which is pretty overcrowded. Not going to lie to you guys. It has six in there. So we have 16. 16 villagers here so they'll be able to spawn more iron golems i'm not too sure if i'm actually going to have another glass block here or glass box to have more villagers here i think you can only get at least 16 in a given area before they just start to despawn i that's think think that's how it goes because the villagers refuse to actually breed anymore so 16 is the max limit but we have six priests and I think like three or four of them actually offers bottles of enchanting. So if we are desperate for levels, we could actually get some from here. And it's a very complicated system. I'm not too sure if I'm going to actually make a guide about this. If I do, then I'm going to try to be as quick as possible with it. With all the editing tricks I know of. And won't take up too much of your time and just have everything set up right then and there. Of course, I would create it in a creative world because it's going to be faster that way. But on survival, my God, it was a little bit of a hassle. You got to do a lot of climbing. You got to do a lot of preciseness. I actually made it to, to where it's actually symmetrical in the actual skylight in its own. And that was an ordeal because I didn't mess up and actually had to rebuild it from one corner to the other corner. But I'm just happy that this is actually done. So... Here's a little bit of a trick that I actually had to do, and I was so lucky that I was able to actually get this symmetrical and actually correct. Let's, I'm going to show an example of this. Just have the water right there. It's not going to affect the villagers whatsoever, and I need to get down from here. Okay, yep. I should have done it on the other side. You know what? I'm going to do it on the other side. It's actually going to be a little bit easier to actually do it on the other side, especially when there's a ladder right there, and I can actually climb up and actually get everything done. Okay. Just hope I don't fail at this point, because I really don't want to fall. It was really, really tricky at this point, too. Of course, when I remove the water, I don't have to worry about the mobs actually swimming up, because they have nowhere to go. Okay, falling down, catch myself falling down, and I failed. Okay, at least I didn't get myself killed. So, this is what I had to do. 
Like once this was all built, here is a little bit of a ladder system or like an elevator system. The villagers will actually swim up to the top. They will always swim up. So this is at this way where you have a sign in between, they will actually just keep on swimming up. This actually helps with a mob farmer, like yeah, a mob farm as well. They will always swim up no matter what if they're at the water. So right here, of course, next door, this is where I got all my zombie villagers, especially when I got to kill a lot of the mobs around is that it was it was a journey at times i failed a lot at one given point i actually had three zombie villagers following me but i was not watching where i was going creeper walked by blew up in my face and killed the three zombie villagers yeah really really sucked so what i did had to do was actually lure whoa whoa where did that torch come from where did that torch come from seriously did i did not break a torch where did that come from that was too weird. Another one. Why? Why is there torches here? SMO, are you right? Are you right there, SMO? <laughs> oh my God, that actually got me, SMO. How could you? <laughs> I see your. I just see. Right. Okay. There you are. I see your name. Nice. I, I could have sworn that something was being broken right there. <laughs> so, okay. So I had to lure the zombie villagers here. And then, of course, you have to use the yeah, Splash Potion friend, of Weakness. Good friendly troll. <laughs> yeah, it was. Just throw the Splash Potion of Weakness at them, and then use a regular Golden Apple to cure them. And it takes about, like, five five minutes for them to be cured. And then you're going to have to lead them here, which is the most annoying part. What I do is that I actually use a water bucket to help actually push them across. Just make sure that the gates are closed. The water will not actually go through the gate. So this is actually an easy way to do this. It's kind of interesting right there. Just push them, push them, just get them to the push, and then they'll just keep swimming up. You can just watch them actually go up to the elevator. Which is actually fascinating as well. And I had to make sure that it was running correctly. It took a little bit of few trial and error methods. And then that's what happened. So there you go. This is what happens. They will actually come down here. And then they'll hit their heads on these things right here. Which I put some two slabs right there. They'll hit their heads and then they'll sink to the bottom. If they don't sink right away. Then all you have to do is just get rid of the water bucket and then they'll sink past the signs and then they'll be trapped so they're forever trapped and if for some odd reason one villager just decides to die on us then of course with all the different villagers they'll just start breeding again so this is their new home forever trapped but they're they won't be lonely look all look at all the villagers they're having a fun party right there it's like a jacuzzi a never ending jacuzzi so just remove the water and if a mob decides to come up here they have nowhere to go they can't actually get to the villagers so they're safe and sound and this is a great method of actually obtaining them and seriously though in this texture pack it actually looks wonderful but in any case you already saw at the top that there's a hole in the middle that's where the iron golems are going to fall in and once they fall in then of course they'll be burned alive by the lava and then they'll die with the help of the hoppers it'll go into the chest iron only for beacons so this is where we could get to get a lot of iron and so far well six more have died so far and here are the here's the count here's an accurate count for every rose that you find that's another iron golem that has died so we are almost at nine stacks of iron how many have been killed so far? 128, then that's 148, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. 153 have died. Why are you taking my iron, man? Put, put the yarn back. I want, I want to have an accurate account. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to actually put all this into blocks. And then we're going to get more of the beacons. Because so far, oh, I didn't bring the skulls with me. I actually got another 21 skulls, so that's another 7 beacons that we actually have on top of the 2 beacons that I need to make. So that's another 9 beacons that we're going to actually have. And I'm going to actually have a lot more. Just have a lot of beacons collected, and then we'll place them down, and then we'll have the quadrants done rather quickly. And once we're done with the last 3 layers, then we're going to move on to the top, and we're going to do a lot of mining from then on forth. And here's a little bit of a platform that I that I placed right there so that the slimes won't get me and if I need to go AFK for whatever reason just make sure you have full hunger yeah I think that's how it goes just make sure you don't have any hunger you can actually stand in one spot your hunger will not go down and as you're AFK for about however long you are at then the, the iron golems will actually fall down and they'll die by the hands of the lava and will one actually spawn in for us I want to see one spawn in and then we're going to see one die right here. And they usually drop a good 
like three to five yeah three to five of the iron bars per kill so is one gonna actually drop down on us not too sure i'm just gonna stand still it's gonna like preserve the frame rate and it's also gonna make the file size a little bit smaller because there's not that much movement a little bit of tips and tricks for you guys if you can actually make some videos still shot videos will always be the lowest lowest of file sizes but if you have like a long video where you're just continuing on moving then the file size will be a little bit larger and it doesn't hurt to actually do some editing here and there but in any case like i said if i were to go afk for whatever reason either making another video or actually doing something else i could just stand on here and then just wait for more iron golems to fall and then we'll get more of the blocks or bars to make it in the blocks we're gonna have a lot of beacons here again thank you so much adam or yeah adam psych tyler adam psych or adam sick i don't know how to pronounce your name let us know in the comment section below how to pronounce your name but thank you again for the suggestion and i do not regret it i do not regret that decision one bit yes it took me a long time to actually make this but in the end it was actually well worth it if anything else, if I really want to do this, I could actually go into my second account, have the second account be AFK on the Iron Golem farm. Well, of course, on my main, which I'm going to be doing a lot of work, I could either I could get more iron bars in both ways. So it's great. It's a great system, guys. Thank you so much for helping me out with this one. So one of the other things I did talk about in Operation Dome is that I want to actually get more videos out there for you guys. More daily content, not 30 minute long videos i know it's a long time for a lot of people to sit down and watch honestly yes it is a long time and i can't believe i didn't think about this sooner i've done it in the past but i haven't actually gone back to it which i really need to get back to it again even if i don't actually do it daily as long as i'm actually doing it every once in a while that's what people may enjoy more so if i were to make a video that's one minute out of 10 minutes long then that's good honestly that's good if i can keep daily with that content then it'll be even better but still that is one thing i really need to get back to it's just to probably talk about my day if something strange happened and if i wanted to talk about it then i don't need a 30 minute video just to talk about whoa calm down out there seriously calm down people are trying to sleep here god dang people are so inconsiderate oh well i don't even know if dia if you actually heard that either so what was I saying? Ah uh, yes, I should have not actually beat, oh god, my sword, my poor little sword, I threw it to the ground. I should not be making a 30 minute video just to talk about something that it just takes 3 minutes of your time. That could be on a different separate video. If I want to bring that up into another 30 minute video, then I could do so. But just for a video on its own, that's going to be a deal where people will just sit back and actually pay attention to that full video and then... They could just leave us with thoughts. They don't have to sit back with a 30 minute video and then something pops up and then they talk about it. Because half the time they kind of forget about it when I'm actually having another 25 minutes of talking about something else. So, as long as I'm able to keep up with the daily content without having to stress over with the 30 minute videos because it does take a lot of time people. Making a 30 minute recording, then actually reviewing that full 30 minutes, doing the proper jump cuts, and then rendering the video for a good hour, and then uploading a video for another two hours. At a good day, it takes four to five hours to get that video out there. On a bad day, it could take up to 10 hours. At least that's what happened with me at one point. It was a bad day, people. It was a really bad day. Nothing odd. Um, I'm stuck in one of the little... Oh, you're stuck in one of the things? I know how to get you out. It's going to be annoying. Or you're in the... Oh, look, an Iron Golem fell. Okay, first of all, I'm going to see the Iron Golem burn alive, and then I'll help you out. Because I don't want to actually go back up there and then have to wait for another Iron Golem to fall down. They have a lot of health. Just look at that. A lot of health. They die, and then the Iron Bars, you can see it right there, but it'll actually get into here. So three of them just spot right there. Oh, wait. Two, two roses actually come out of an Iron Golem? My god, I did the math wrong. Okay, good to know. So at least we get probably two to five of the iron bars at a given kill. So let me do the math again. So that's 128. Then we got 149, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Okay, one to two roses. Okay, there's no accurate count. Honestly, there is no accurate count to deal with iron golem. So I don't know what the proper count is, and I can't tell you that for sure. Do I have anything to break? Okay, I have a stone here, so... I'm, I'm not I'm not too worried if the villagers get out because they have nowhere to go. So, 
You know what? I'm going to actually save just in case. Just in case if they actually get out or if they despawn for some odd reason. Nah, it doesn't matter. I'll go get more. I don't really I care. Yeah, I, I, don't, I doubt they'll actually despawn. I doubt they'll actually be able to get out anyways. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Okay, let's see. You know what? You can do this. You, have, you already have a block. Just jump and place a block down below you. Just place, a just place a block down below you and then jump because you'll be able to swim out that way. Place a block under you, dude. You need to jump on your own block. SMO, place down a block. Hang on that. Yeah, it's going to be hard with the villagers are actually pushing you. Yeah, it's going to be hard, but you got to do this. You got to jump up, jump, just keep jumping and just place a block down. You'll eventually place down a block. Just keep jumping, just keep jumping, try to place down the block. Just make sure that you don't hit the corner. Because I don't want that uh, source block to disappear. You can do it, SMO. You can do this. Come on now. You can do this. I'll try to help you. I just don't want to fall on myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. You could tr you, it's going to bring up the trade. It's so difficult. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. You're so close. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. Almost. 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 Oh god, I'm gonna get myself stuck. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can get out of here. I've done this before. <laughs> I should have saved. Oh god. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay, jump on the block and then just swim up. Just swim up. Just swim up. Come, on, come over here. Okay. There yeah. we go. Oh, poor villagers. Oh my god. They're on the block as well. They're just staring at me. They're like, please let us out. Please, we didn't do anything to deserve this. Well, sadly, you have a greater purpose. But if you were to leave here, then there's no purpose out there. You'll just die with all the mobs around. Okay, so I just we gotta be careful. Uh, and there we go. It's all done. How do you even get up here anyways? Give me money. How do you even get up? Oh, wait, you, you went from the top. That's how. So yeah, Hero SMO is actually showing a perfect example of a mob trying to actually go for the villagers. It's not going to work. He's not going to be able to climb that. So it's all good, guys. We made it out. We rescued Hero SMO out of this out of this dangerous parts. And now the villagers will be forever trapped. So again, this is a good system. And I was completely and utterly lucky that... What I built was very symmetrical and was actually perfect to the T. I'm like, oh my god, I did not want to actually rebuild this because it has to be up to scale in my in my eyes. If it's not perfect or if it's not symmetrical, then it's like, I got to redo this. I got to build upon this. And it takes a lot of blocks because the platforms in itself, it is 20 by 20. I think it is, yeah, 20 by 20. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it sucks. 20 by 20, three stacks high, and then another 20 by 20, three stacks high. It takes a lot, guys. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of water. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of patience. Have any more of the iron golems actually died? Nope, none of them actually died because I think that we just contaminated the villagers for a time being. But they will spawn more and more just as long as there's no bombs in the area. Slimes do not affect the iron well, golems whatsoever. They'll just keep on dying right here because they are three blocks high and their heads will hit the lava. And don't worry about the items. They'll just actually spawn or they just appear on the floor and the hoppers will catch them. It takes a lot of time and dedication. Especially when you want to make it look pretty. My god. This is like the legitimate only thing I have ever built. Rather than the tree dome. But that's easily done just by making a square and putting the trees in the ground and just using the bone meal to grow them. But this... This alone is my first legitimate build, guys. Honestly, this is my first legitimate build. All I gotta say is that it took a long time. But in any case, let's see, let's see. So, before the whole 
hashtag rescue hero hero smo it is the fact of the matter is i gotta go back to making some vlog videos talk about my day if it actually was interesting or if something has happened that i have not talked about then that's another thing i could talk about or talk about some issues that i think that i need to talk or discuss about not too sure maybe some video game news here gaming news i don't even know just something different to add to the table on top of the 30 minute videos i have actually done it's a lot guys it's a lot please don't do that so let's see i gotta fix everything right now gotta see what's been see how to do this again i really don't know i just did it and i forgot how to do it uh it's been a long time guys it's been a very long time it's been a long day as well hey look another iron golem decided to drop in and say hello and good thing i actually turned off the sound because they are pretty loud in its own too so do we have another stack and yes we do that one dropped four bars so let's see let us see nah i don't have any room i'm just gonna make the, the iron blocks in a bit should have a crafting table here but then I, it's not gonna be symmetrical although the tower itself is not symmetrical i don't even know i just like to keep things pretty guys i like to think keep things organized i'm just gonna leave it here and then i'll get back to it off camera but going back to making videos, I'm going to try to make daily content that is something different than the Pixamon, the Let's Plays, and Operation Bedrock and Operation Dome. So if you guys have any other discussions and ideas, your topics, your questions, your concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And if I answer that in a video or I respond to that in a video, then I will credit you verbally by linking your channel and as well as giving you a shout out for helping me with something to discuss about if I have nothing to think about for the day. So there you go. Bring you back shout outs. I can't wait for that. I honestly cannot wait to talk about whatever something is different. Just got to keep up with the workout schedule. Got to keep up with making the 30 minute videos of Pixamon. Just join us on envyblock.org. Just follow the rules and uh, all the uh, players. And as well as just respect the players and the moderators and the staff. And have fun. Oh god. Need room. I need room. I got to actually get more trees here. So I could actually get some more apples. Where did, is this oak? Is this oak? Oh my god, it looked like birch for a second. That really confused me. Oh come on. <laughs> we don't need a we don't need to build guardrails, man. Well, at least you're right there. So yeah, I did completely mess up that advertisement. I'm sorry, I'm an advertiser on EnvyBlock, so let me say that a little bit quicker. Just join us on EnvyBlock.org, everything will be linked in the description below. Just respect the rules of players and moderators, the staff and the owner, and have fun at a survival in a world of Minecraft with a great community that is Minecraft. Anyways, again, come on man, you're not drunk. You can do this. Also, if I actually want to go back to live streaming, yes, I do have a live stream account, which is twitch.tv slash shortking090. I could actually live stream killing more of the wither skeletons and possibly the actual wither boss. It is because, I've been, like I said, I've been collecting more apples to actually make some notch apples to sustain this or sustain my health during the fights, which I really need to update one of the beacons. I really, really do. Oh my god, block of iron looks way different. I have enough time, actually. I have enough. T well, actually, you don't I, have to update it. I could actually I, update it. I, I know. Don't. I I know how to update it to where it's gonna actually show two of the actual, uh, what's it called? Two of the actual perks or power ups, and I could actually do that right now. I think I have enough time. I just gotta get some obsidian. I gotta get some get the nether star. Oh wait, I do have two of the beacons actually created. Okay, that's going to save a lot of more time. Okay, let's go ahead and actually go to the beacons where I'm going to show you guys how to do this if it actually works. If it doesn't work, then it's kind of awkward and I'm going to have to take it down. At least I'll know right now. You know what? I'm going to actually do a jump cut to actually make this even faster. Okay, yes, I know I'm not at the beacon area, but first I want to show you guys that I take a lot of time of creating a lot of potion of resistance or fire resistance. So that's what I'm going to be using when I'm, it comes down to live stream. You already saw that I have the potion of strength 2 in my inventory, and I've created a little bit more than that as well. So let's go ahead and go down the stairs. Come on now, come on now. And the thing that kind of sucks, I don't know if it's with everyone else as well, but whenever I create so many potions, at times it causes my game to lag, and then at times I do freeze as well. Do any of you guys? 
guys have that same problem as well? I'm not really even too sure. I don't know if it's the Xbox 360, I don't know if it's just my game, or it actually happens in everyone else's console as well. Just let me know in the comment section below. Okay, is this the one here? Let me see, if did I have the beacons here? Yes, I do. I have a little bit of beacons right here. Is that another block of iron? Yes, it is. So I'll be able to do that right now. And we got a lot of chickens. A lot of chickens indeed. It has a whole family in there. We're going to leave that alone. And then here are some more potion of strength. And then some more fire resistance. So with potion of strength 2, everything is just a one-hit kill. Literally, just run up to them, one-hit kill them. Fast experience. Even though it lasts a minute and 30 seconds, you got to make it the best minute and 30 seconds ever. So just go on a killing spree. It's a lot of fun, guys. Again, I can just do live streams of that, so everything will be fine. And do I have any other separate bars? Uh, I can sacrifice some diamonds here and there. I got like 5,000 diamonds. I have diamonds for days, guys. I still have my backup of 10,000 iron and 1,000 diamonds stored away, guys. Those were my original plans to where I'm not gonna, I wasn't going to use any iron until I got to 10,000. And I was not going to use any diamonds except for the essentials until I get to 1,000. Those were my original goals. I'm crazy when it comes to goals. Okay, so we got the first beacon here. And I completely forgot actually how to set this up correctly. Awkward. I think I actually had to make everything an extra layer. I think that's how it goes. I know what? I'm going to actually do another jump cut and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I'm just guessing by the picture. The picture actually shows six beacons and it just has the structure. Because you actually have to make it even for all of it. So what I'm guessing right now, I'm going to save. Because of course, digging like breaking down all the blocks takes a long time and saving takes a long time too so i can never win at any given point but from what i'm seeing is that you just kind of have to put the beacon at the side and just have the layers on the iron just a little bit one to the one to the side as well so everything would just be a little bit double layered and then you can have two effects in the same area just kind of weird how that works but it makes sense in itself too if you think about it, I don't know how to explain it real well, but when you kind of think about it of how to set up a double beacon of how I'm going to show it, then it's just like it's the same for one side and the same for the other side. Ah, <sighs> don't know how to explain it, but that picture with six beacons, that's actually pretty cool. I won't be able to do that. Honestly, just really don't have any purpose for that. But for the, that beacon where I'm at right now, it's going to be for the wither because I made that obsidian cage for the wither not to escape so it's gonna help when i put regeneration and as well as strength too in this section alone and it'll be easier to kill the wither and not have to worry to die just i won't have to worry that i was gonna i'm gonna die just look at this right here yep is it is quad layered one two three four to the top and i think it's triple layered from the sides so if you were to come in here hey you got you get there's a spider dude be careful, it's been a long time since I've been here. You know, we may have some pests. Okay, so if we were to make the uh, the wither here, it'll actually spawn and then it'll actually try to kill us. But since we are protected in this area, it will not escape. So again, yeah, it is triple layered on all sides. One, two, three. Yep. Okay, so let's see if I'm able to build this correctly. If not, then that's just going to be another fail for the record books. So let's see, blocks of iron, blocks of iron. I'm going to set down the beacon first, and then we'll see if we can actually do this. So yeah, it's not going to activate just yet, so it's got to do this, and then here, and then let's see, let's see. Oh god, I messed that up already. Okay, okay, yep, I'm a noob, I'm a noob. Well, thank you. So let's see, right here. And then one last layer. Please let this work. And let's see. Yep, here it is. Here it is. Double beacons. So yeah, it's that is a four pyramid structure for this beacon. And then for the other side, it is a four pyramid structure for that beacon. So if you want to make more beacons to be effective, you just keep doing that same pattern. So if I wanted to drop down another beacon, I'm just going to have to add another layer on each and every side. So I can have three active beacons. May I have that iron block, please? I know you took it, man. I saw you took it. May I have it back? Please? 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 Yep, okay, you dropped it. I was about to slash you. 
Okay, and destroy the beacon. Destroy the beacon. Destroy the beacon. There we go. Yeah. So we got two beacons. Now let's go ahead and actually activate this one. I'm going to... Uh, you can actually put speed if you want, but for the purpose of this video, I want to put regeneration. And you know what? I could actually sacrifice a gold bar here. No, never mind. I need that for the notch apples. Diamond it is. I have a lot more diamonds, so I don't have to worry about that. So we got that. Activate it. And then it should be fine. Let's see. We got haste 2 and regeneration. Oh, wait. This one has to run out. Okay, now it's stuck with regeneration. So I can make it to regeneration 2, but I can actually make it a strength. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to put strength. We're going to have to do this twice. It's a bit of annoying, but we have to do this twice. So we got this, and then strength 2, and then another diamond, and then press OK. And then you have strength 2, and as well as regeneration. There you go. Strength 2 right there. Haste is going to run out. Then we have regeneration. Although I think it is a double. Yeah, it's a double. So I have haste and regeneration. Then... Okay, we're just going to replace that with resistance. So we have regeneration and resistance. So at least we'll be able to withstand the fight a little bit longer. So this area will be just for fighting. So isn't that nice, people? Isn't that nice? Why isn't that activated? Come on, activate. Strength, resistance. Okay, I think that's how it goes. There we go. So there we go. Haste is going to run out. We got strength to resistance and regeneration. Yeah. Yeah. If I actually want to make haste or uh, resistance two, and then have another one right here with regeneration, then I could do that. You know what? I'll do it right now. Why not? Just for the fight alone. That's what I'm going to actually do. I was. It's going to be fun, guys. It's going to be great. It's a grand old time. Speed don't care. Strength doesn't matter. Resistance two. It's going to matter. Let's see. Let's see. Activate this one. Activate it. And then there you go. I'm going to have a lot of beacons by the end, honestly. So let's do a triple beacon. Let's do a triple beacon right on recording. Because why in the world not? Now, we're going to have to put some more iron blocks. Since we have an iron golem farm, it's going to be easier. So go, got to bind that up. And then do another pyramid right here. And then another pyramid right here. And then one more right here. Here, oh, messed, I messed that up. Boop, there we go. Three beacons, a triple beacon. And then go over here. Does this, has this already have resistance too? Yes, it does. This is going to have that. And then, let's see. Speed, why not? Wait, can I actually do both? Is there regeneration too, honestly? Is there regeneration too for this one? I don't think it is. No, you can't. Okay, never mind. I thought it was going to be resistance 2. It would have been nicer if it was. Wait, I may be wrong. Nope, has to be this. Okay. Yep, there you go. Activate. Activate for us. So we got regeneration, speed, strength 2, resistance 2. I don't even think we need a notch apple. Actually, yes we do. Never mind, notch apples are always best. No matter what, it's always the best. So can I test this hit on you? Can I just hit you once and see if it actually hurts you? I need your permission. Oh, dang. Barely two hearts. You did actually take away my helmet, but I don't care. So, one hit. You won't die. You won't die at all. Well, hit me again with a sword. Hit me again with a sword, dude. I forgot you have... I actually forgot... Yeah. Not really much. You didn't even hurt me at all. Even after strength 2, you hit me with a piece of bread. It doesn't hurt at all. So, it is successful. It is successful, guys. I will probably will make some notch apples. Oh, dang. I probably will actually test out to see whether or not I actually could kill the wither without even the need of notch apples. And if so, then this is the most efficient way to actually kill the nether. But absolutely, this is absolutely amazing. If I wanted to get all six effects and I needed to put this to the side and just make this into another pyramid, it could be that way as well. So far in this video, we already talked about the Iron Golem farm and as well as making multiple beacons. So it is possible in the world of Minecraft on console version. So if you really want to do that, then you shall and then you'll have a great time. So that is all I could really say. It's a bit of a longer video than I would have expected, but I'm very happy that we actually got to test this out. And now this will be even making a better live stream or even a better video for the next time.
I just like how the beacons are set up right here. It's really nice. Honestly, it's really nice. You know what? Maybe next week we'll actually test it out of killing the nether. Or not the nether, the wither. Uh, I'm always getting these things confused. Wither skeletons, nether skeletons, wither boss, wither. Doesn't matter. In the end, we have a bat. It's an adorable little bat. But either way, end of the video. I don't want to ramble on too much as I already did. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm going to work on this. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. I upload videos every single day except for Sundays because that's going to be my day of rest. So if you want to contact me through social media, you may do so by looking at the description because that's where all my links are at. So have a great day, everyone. I'm SorkeenZ90. That was Hero SMO. Let me go ahead and go to the beacons because it's absolutely amazing. There you go. Stand by me. Have a great day, everyone. I'm SorkeenZ090, and as always, I will see you in the next video. God bless.